This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update right now from ABC 15 Arizona. Later today, family and friends will celebrate the life of Jameer Jenkins during a candlelight vigil at Combs High School. Jenkins was shot and killed two weeks ago in Santan Valley. The community waiting for an arrest in Preston Lord's case. Now, that 16-year-old was assaulted at a Halloween party in Queen Creek and later died. As of right now, there are no new updates in that investigation. New developments now from the U.S. Supreme Court. The justices have agreed to take up a case involving the abortion pill, Mifepristone. You may remember back in October, Attorney General Chris Mays was among other attorneys general urging the Supreme Court to reverse a lower court's ruling on the medication. The case will be argued in the spring with a decision likely by the summer. This announcement coming nearly 24 hours after the Arizona Supreme Court heard oral arguments on abortion. It could be months before we have an opinion from them. We have brand new voter registration totals just dropping in Maricopa County. They're actually down more than 90,000 since October. Some voters were taken off the rolls for being inactive, which is the law in Arizona. To double check your voter registration status, go to elections.maricopa.gov. The cost of entertainment is so high. It's taking the fun out of some pastimes. Consumer reporter John Matarese is looking at ways to dodge funflation so that you don't waste your money. Are you getting priced out of some of your favorite sources of live entertainment? The bad news, funflation is real. The good news, there's still ways to have fun this season without breaking the bank. Pam Wills was wearing her reindeer hat and watching the grandkids enjoy... Ice skate. Ice skate. She likes that it's still an affordable family holiday event. It's time together. It's very affordable. Ten dollars. But many other activities are not. Kimberly Palmer is a personal finance editor at Nerd Wallet. She's been tracking the rising costs of fun. Everything from concert tickets to going out to the movies, everything is costing more. According to a Wall Street Journal Credit Karma survey, 60% of Americans have been forced to cut back on live entertainment this year. But Kimberly says there's hope. It just means that we have to put a little bit more effort into finding the good deals. Well, one in five people say they're willing to take on debt to experience their favorite activities, it's still critical to budget first. And decide how much money you have for these fun optional items. Kimberly recommends the 50-30-20 method. Which means that 50% of your take-home pay is going towards needs, 30% towards wants, and then 20% towards debt payments and savings. Next, using the money in your wants budget, look for deals. Apps like Game Time will show you last-minute discounted tickets to live events. And you can find sales on Groupon as well. Finally, think about what do you have access to for free in your community. From holiday parades to firework shows to ice skating, you might be surprised by how many affordable activities are available near you, especially this time of year when everything is lit up for the holidays. You kind of have to be imaginative, you know, maybe do a little homework. There are things out there you can definitely do. That way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. It's Operation and you can help make the holidays happen this year, all thanks to Operation Santa Claus. Now through December 20th, we're collecting non-perishable food items, children's clothing, new toys, or cash. All of it goes to Five Valley Charities. You can donate at Sanderson Ford and Sanderson Lincoln. Select U-Haul locations or online anytime at givetothecause.com. Now for each donation, you will be entered for a chance to win a brand new all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning or the 2023 Lincoln Corsair. This is courtesy of Sanderson Ford and Sanderson Lincoln. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. It's going to be sunny and cooler today with Phoenix topping out right at 70 degrees, a degree cooler than yesterday. So not a huge drop, but temperatures overall trending down today and even into tomorrow before we start our next warm up. Highs cooler in northern Arizona too. Mid 40s today for Flagstaff, upper 50s for Payson. There is a chance for snow showers today, a slight chance along the rim, but it's really not going to add up to much in those spots that do get some light snow along the rim. It'll be areas in northeast Arizona near Window Rock where we could pick up one to two 
inches of snow up to the Four Corners region. So be, be mindful of that as you could encounter some slick conditions in that part of our state. Otherwise, dry here in the valley, cooler the next couple days with highs in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Then we start a warm up with highs climbing into the mid to upper 70s Friday and this upcoming weekend. You'll see more clouds this weekend too, but for now that valley forecast is still dry at least to start next week with highs in the mid to upper 70s and lows in the 50s. We will have another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or go ahead and download that free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.